Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, today we're doing a how to how to drive a manual car. At first, we look here at the shift stick, and sorry about the shade, but yeah, this is the the shifter, which is you know you're supposed to go drive back and whatnot. And this is going to be really important because this is this is going to make us pretty much move and start more or less. And right here we have three the three pedals. Sorry for sorry for the mess, but yes, uh, this one right here is the clutch. And pretty much we're gonna we're gonna have to use the left your left leg, and basically to so you could clutch it, and so you can move this around freely, and you know, like that. And basic, and for, just use the other leg to go stop. Well, not like this. And this is really important because usually to start to start the Mustang, we would have to put on neutral and keep it keep it basically loose. So now we're gonna so now we're gonna start start the Mustang key ignition. Make sure it's on neutral, clutch neutral, and then you clutch again to start it. Basically, clutch again while you're out. And then, since this is a manual car, I would always like to have it on, uh, have the e brake on, the br the emergency brake. And then we're about to go right now. First of all, before we leave the driveway, always put your seatbelt on, especially in this car. It's a Mustang. And then you go, you clutch, basically clutch, reverse. And if you, <laughs> I need to readjust my seat. And then you start heading back. You would literally have to ease up on the, on the, on the gas, easy, easy, easy taps on the gas, and. Voila, you go all the way basically back because of gravity. Okay, so now okay, so now we're doing uh, the sequencing of one, two, three, four, five gears. As you can see right there, not reverse. And uh, the RPM meter is gonna be is gonna be pretty much important because of the one zero, one, two, and three. Th those are the ones that we that I usually use. Going past three and four is you're basic. You're basically risking your life and risking the gearbox and the flywheel. And besides that, yeah, the speedometer right here, and everything's off check. Okay, guys. So now we're doing the sequencing, and people usually don't don't use the first gear, but I actually do for this car, so it can even drive faster. So we're now we're doing a clutch, gas, I mean, clutch, move gas and then we're going Set, steady taps and then clutch gas second gear looking at the rpms clutch gas third third gear rpms on two clutch gas and then fourth gear rpms on two and then clutch gas and fifth gear rpms on, is at a as a almost even one so now we could just chill it, put it on neutral, and you, now you see that it's all loose while I'm going around 40, 40 right now. So this is another reason that that uh, manual cars can actually more or less save gas, but now I have somebody behind me, so I'm gonna go fifth gear. Now, there's not enough RPM, so that's why it's stuttering. I have to go to fourth gear, clutch gas, and yep. Neutral again, so I could turn turn around without without killing the engine, lacking gas.